And Drake didn't send me a cookie recipe. He sent me some weird salty ass shit that uh, a four year old could have written. Uh, honestly, the DM read like something one of his angry fans would write, you know, which it's sort of sad that that man is so many leagues above his fans uh, in terms of the money he makes and experience he has, but yet he's uh, still just like texting and DMing like an angry 18 year old, but whatever. Now, Drake exposes Anthony Fantano. Have you guys heard about this entire Anthony Fantano and Drake situation? This entire story is actually kind of funny. So with that being said, let's talk about it. Now, Anthony Fantano, the internet's busiest music nerd. I think most people are familiar with Anthony Fantano at this point. He's, of course, a professional music reviewer. Fantano's been on his platform since I was like 12. He's an OG in his space and has been doing this at a very high level for a long time, which is why it doesn't make me too happy to see Drake trying to play my boy. With that being said, man, Drake, if you got beef with Anthony Fantano, well, shit, you got beef with me now, too. Obviously, I'm kidding. Definitely not trying to make Drake my enemy. All jokes aside, let's talk about what's actually going on here. So the other day, Mr. Melon Man Anthony Fantano dropped a video with a the title Drake slid into my DMs. The video was satire. It was a complete joke, which I didn't personally initially catch, and a lot of people didn't. What happened was Fantano made this video pretending that Drake sent him a vegan cookie recipe. I know it sounds ridiculous because it is. In what world is Drake out here sending Fantano recipes? Vegan recipes for that matter. I just don't see it. So here are the DMs Fantano showed in his video. Drake in these DMs to Fantano said the following, Anthony, it's Drizzy. I know we don't really see eye to eye about music and that you're not the biggest fan of most of my albums. Thanks for the kind words on Take Care and if you're reading this though. But it is what it is, you know? Can always hope you'll like the next one. So up until this point, these messages seemed pretty legit. It appears that Drake was messaging Fantano trying to open the lines of communication. Cool. On this next part, however, he said, but I'm not messaging you about your videos. I'm actually messaging you because I found a really great vegan cookie recipe. I'd love you to try. On this next part, this is when he, Drake, allegedly writes out the vegan cookie recipe in question. Not gonna read the whole thing, but it does look like a pretty delicious recipe. Might try it myself, I don't know. So after Fantano put up this video, it ended up gaining a lot of traction. So much traction to the point where the boy Aubrey ended up responding. Before we get to Drake's response, the question is, why did Fantano put up this video? Cause there's actually a very big plot twist here. Even though this vegan cookie recipe DM was fake, Drake did actually end up messaging Fantano, but he did not send him a vegan cookie recipe. The question now is, what exactly did Drake say in those real DMs that he sent to Fantano? So here's a screenshot of not the recipe, but the actual DMs Drake sent to Fantano. This is what it says. Your existence is a light one, and the one is because you're alive, and because you somehow wifed a black girl, I'm feeling a light to decent one on your existence. So Fantano essentially ended up finessing Drake into responding by exposing the real DMs he had sent him. And for the record, Fantano actually left Drizzy on red. Now that right there, that's a power move. Obviously Drake watched the video in his big ass mansion and didn't like the fact that Fantano made this Drake slid into my DMs video. His way of getting back at Fantano was to post the actual DMs, but obviously the real messages didn't make Drake look all that cool. When I saw these DMs initially, I kind of brushed it off as a joke, but Fantano didn't take it as a joke, most definitely not, because he ended up responding on Twitter by saying that share the salty ass DMs to over 100 million people. On this other tweet, Fantano said, I made that man leak his own DMs and then, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 21 laughing emojis. Fantano also ended up responding during an Instagram live session. This is what he said. So I said, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna come out with a video. That video is gonna be called, Drake slid into my DMs. I'm gonna come on camera. I'm gonna say, Drake DM'd me. Oh my God, crazy. Uh, d d he DM'd me. Oh, well, what, what did he DM me? So I, I go to the DM and I read out uh, a, a doctor DM where I just sort of read out a cookie recipe, which I thought was funny. It's just a funny little shit post, just a funny little troll, which everybody who has a brain in the comments of that video saw as just like a silly, a silly shit post, which it was. It was totally made up. It was totally fabricated. Nobody with a brain would honestly think that Drake would DM me in the middle of the night to send me a vegan cookie recipe. Nobody would think that. No one would think that. <laughs> so it was me kind of telling the truth, but also kind of lying because I wasn't really leaking a DM, nor was I really saying anything that like, you know, was honestly like the case. I mean, Drake didn't send me a cookie recipe. He sent me some weird salty ass shit that uh, a four-year-old could have written. 
Uh, honestly, the DM read like something one of his angry fans would write, you know, which it's sort of sad that that man is so many leagues above his fans uh, in terms of the money he makes and experience he has, but yet he's uh, still just like texting and DMing like an angry 18-year-old, but whatever. So from Fantano's perspective, that was his way of making fun of the situation. Because keep in mind, even though he did make a video where, you know, he said that Drake slid into his DMs with the vegan cookie recipe, Fantano was actually being nice by not making a video with the same title regarding the actual DMs, right? Had Fantano done that, I don't think Drake would have responded. But the fact that he did respond and the fact that the real DMs were insults, that honestly just makes Drake look weak. Because Drake posting the screenshot on his Instagram story was his way of saying, I didn't send the guy a damn recipe this is what I sent him. What I'm wondering is, did Drake not realize how that would make him look on Anthony's end since he's a content creator? I believe this was his way of, you know, just capitalizing on these insults that he received from Drake privately. And Fantano is high key smart, man, because the way I look at it, he essentially baited Drake into exposing something that directly makes Fantano look good. And knowing how Drake moves, I don't think this was his intention at all. As a matter of fact, I don't personally think there was a lot of thought behind him posting the screenshot. He obviously saw the video, probably assumed that people believed that this vegan recipe DM was real and told himself, let me nip this in the bud by posting the real DMs on my IG story and then I'll keep it moving. All Drake really did in this situation was expose some DMs that made him look kind of childish and soft and I might add moist. moist. Anyway, Fantano beefing with Drake is not something I thought would be a reality, but I guess here we are today. Any thoughts on this entire thing? Like we covered, Fantano dropped a uh, satire video the other day claiming that Drake had messaged him a vegan cookie recipe. Drake saw the video and decided to expose the real messages that he sent Anthony Fantano, and it turns out that the real messages were a bunch of insults aimed at the man himself, the needle drop. Any thoughts on this? Definitely let me know in the comment section below. Like this video, like this video, like this video, like this video. Are you team Drake or Fantano, by the way? Let's have a about this.